Well, welcome everybody to another video where we're working out with Aaron Briggs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know why I said it like that. I'm here. Aaron Briggs. <laughs> It'll, when I get famous, then we can start saying it like that. Aaron we, yeah, Briggs. Deep. That's exactly right. right. <laughs> when we get famous is what else. Oh, say. yeah. And then we'll hope for that. No okay. need to be famous. No. Just here with you guys. Just yep. having fun, right? That's yep. all we need. Okay. Not even just. That's It's just amazing. Amazing being with you guys. We love this. So today is gonna to be a cardio day, and in the past we've done something called a, a flow, and a flow routine is really where we, we build exercises one on top of the other. It's a little different than doing a circuit or some supersets or anything like that. So we are gonna uh, have some fun doing this, and remember, just kinda of watch us for the changes. It's okay if you don't understand everything that we're saying or talking about right now. The main thing that you need to know is that you're going to do three distinct movements. You're going to do a deadlift, which is what we're doing, well, what we were doing, right? Where you just kind of bend down. I always tell people the deadlift is you're picking something up from the ground, mm -hmm. right? That's picking up that bag of groceries, right? Doing it, yeah. And then this move that you see us doing is a row. You'll see I'm doing more of a bent over row. Maggie's doing an upright row. Both ways work. Do whatever works for you. Again, you always, we always want you to have kind of permission and the autonomy, you know, the the ability to choose what, you know, how you move the best. Your third and final exercise is what is called a clean. Now I do a very open-ended version of that. Um, it can be a very technical uh, move and that's not what I'm interested in doing. A, a clean is you being able to pick something up from the ground, right, or, or low, and just get it up to about chest or shoulder height. So you'll see Maggie using her band. And again, where you might use something like this is, I use my, my analogy of, being able to put your suitcase luggage mm -hmm. in the overhead compartment. Well, you have to get it up to your shoulders before you can push it up, and mm -hmm. that's effectively what this does for you, okay? You've got about a 30-second break, and here Maggie was saying how doing it with a band is that clean part of it is a little different. Yeah, I had just never done it before, yeah. and so I experimented with a couple different grips on the band, and I realized that having my hands a little farther apart from each other just felt more comfortable for me. Yeah. Um, I think you can do it any way you want, really, right. just so that it feels good. And that's why you were trying it again. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah I just wanted to, you know, make sure I wasn't going to hurt myself. No. Nope. Exactly right. All right. Here we go, everybody. You've got four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Now, you're going to start with your deadlifts, and here's the part that we haven't talked about yet. You're going to go for one minute. Now, we're used to going for 30 seconds. This is one of the first times that we're going to change. This exercise and every exercise is to be done for 60 seconds. It gets quite a bit longer. And keep in mind that the idea today is cardio. Whenever I say cardio, I never mean that you have to lift really heavy. So you have mm -hmm. your kettlebell, you have your weights, you have your bands, and if all of a sudden you're realizing, I've made a huge mistake, <laughs> weight's are too heavy, Stop, pause the video, rewind it. You can start over again, right? It doesn't matter. The point is to have what you need. And you've been going for about 40 seconds already, so 20 seconds left. If you're starting to feel it already, great. That's totally fine. You're gonna go two rounds today. So remember, this first round is still just getting a feel for it. You have permission to feel tired or not tired yet. Really, it's about looking good and feeling good. Now, here's where we start to build. Three, two, one, do a deadlift and add a row. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of two different ways to do this. Uh, Maggie, I think, was getting a little, the coordination here was a little different, <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, I was trying to follow Aaron, and what Aaron is doing, it, or what he was doing, and you'll see him doing more of later, is basically doing his row in the middle of his deadlift. Exactly. So he bends over, does the row, and then stands up as his row. And I felt like I just liked doing the deadlift, then back down for the row, and then back to the deadlift. Right, so for this minute, I kind of did it just one at a time. Um, both ways worked because yep. really this isn't, again, this isn't about how many rows you get in or how many deadlifts. It's more about getting your heart rate going and um, breathing a little more. Exactly. Maybe Five sweating seconds, by a the little way. bit. Yep, yep. <laughs> Three, two, one, and that third move that we practiced, pick that weight up to your shoulders. And again, you'll see me, I, I was playing around with the kind of what I call the complex of it, right? Making it mm -hmm. complex. So I would bend, then row, then come up and clean. And 
um, the the main takeaway we want you to do is just get all three movements in, right? Right. It's probably easiest if you start with a deadlift, right? Just bend, pick up that weight, then get back down in row or stay up top and an upright row, and then get those hands to where you're ready to press above your head. You just don't press above your head, right? That would yes. be that clean yeah. part of it, and then get back down and do it again. You've got 30 seconds, okay? Now, once we've done all three of these rounds, very shortly coming up in about 20 seconds, we're gonna take a 30 second breather. Being that it's cardio today, we're gonna try to minimize our rest time. And because it's the first time doing this, we are putting a little breather in place for you. Eight seconds to go. You're doing awesome. Make it look good, make it feel good. Three, two, one. We're gonna take a 30 second breather. How you feeling? Good, yeah, I was, I think I even told you, um, uh, I can't hear it because we're doing the voiceover, but yeah. I think I even told you like, yeah, I was definitely starting to yeah. like feel that, like breathe a little bit, felt really good. Um, this is one of those, I feel like we were both kind of doing some yard work yesterday, so it feels a little good to just get these muscles whew, moving a little and shaking Four, them out and three, you know, getting, getting two, going again. One, back to deadlifts, exactly. Yeah, I love the way you put that. It's, it's a great way to move. The way that I've designed this, these exercises are so that you're taking care of the majority of the ways that you move in a day. It's, it should feel good. It should feel yeah. fairly familiar to you. Even, even that clean when we talk about it is, oh, I, I pick stuff up to my shoulders. I have to be able to push it over my head. And this is just one way to help you get there. Okay, you are rocking this. You've got about 30 more seconds to go. And by the way, two rounds today, only two rounds. And a quick word on that while you're exercising, right? Now, now that I've got your attention, you can't go anywhere. You're doing deadlifts, right? You're not gonna walk anywhere. The, uh, when we start a month over, right? There's kind of a natural ebb and flow to how long we do our exercises. Traditionally, the beginning of a month, the beginning of a phase is where you go a little lighter. You're not doing as much time. You're not doing as many rounds or as many sets. And you've got five seconds, four, three, two, one, go ahead and add that row. So remember, you're still doing deadlifts, you're just adding in a row at some point. And there's no magic formula here. If it feels better for you to do two deadlifts and then a row, you can do that. If you wanna go a deadlift, two or three rows, again, the idea is that you're just starting to combine a few movements here, okay? But back to what I was saying about the way our, our month progresses. This is our first Thursday. This is our first Thursday workout in April, so we're only doing about two rounds. As we progress through the month, when we get to the second Thursday, you'll end up doing three rounds. Then after that, four rounds, potentially even five rounds. So the month you will build, if it feels a little lighter today, that's on purpose, mm -hmm. and that's okay, right? The idea is still to get your 25-ish minutes per day. So this is gonna be about a seven to eight minute workout. This is about a seven to eight minute workout. You are gonna want to add a little bit of extra time in later on. Four. Three, two, one, last minute, add that clean or add that weight getting up to your shoulders, up to your chest, like you're ready to press it over your head. You're just not gonna press it over your head. That's a later move. That's a movement later on that we'll do. You're looking good. Excellent work. And by now, you are two minutes into this cycle, right? Five, five and a half, six minutes in total. Uh, ideally, it should feel like a little bit of cardio. Round two is always about dialing it up just a little bit, right? Your form gets a little better, you get a little more control, you look good, you've got 30 seconds. And because it's also just round two, you're also gonna finish well. And so that's what you're doing your last now, or that's what you're doing right now. These last 20 seconds is all about finishing well. We'll add a little stretch for you to cool down at the end. And of course, if you feel like doing more, if you're capable of doing more, you wanna jump into bigger rounds, you can totally start this video over, or if you know the cycle, just start it over again on your own. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Give yourself a high five or a pat on the back, you rocked it. If you'd like to grab a sip of water, otherwise go ahead and transition down to the ground. We are gonna be stretching so that you can benefit your ability to sit cross-legged. And today, remember, we've got two stretches we kind of rock back and forth between two of them. Today, you're doing your frog stretch. And the reminder of that one is that you're kind of face down, you're on all fours, your hands and your knees, and with your toes aiming towards each other, maybe touching, maybe not, but you're very gently starting to push your knees apart. And sometimes you have to like walk them out a little bit if they don't slide. 
If you're on a, a not too grippy carpet, you can slide them out a little bit. And we usually start with about 30 seconds of holding and then in just a second here, you'll see us uh, start to rock back and forth. And we'd encourage you to do the same if it feels good for you. Excellent work. Heart rate's coming back down. No matter when you're choosing to do your cool down, part of what you're doing here is just letting your heart rate drop. You're taking some breaths. You've got about 20 more seconds to go. When you're done with this stretch, you'll see us get back into that cross leg posture, sitting posture, and just kind of work it out. And by the way, I always love, I always love giving credit where it's due. These postures and stretches come from a God, it's, it's probably a, a community of people that I talk to. It's actually a company called oh. Gold Metal Bodies. Um, if you look them up on internet or the Google, uh, <laughs> the Google, if you look them up on Google or the internet, they go by G as in girl, M as in Martha, and then B as in boy, GMB, Gold Metal Bodies. Uh, they have just some wonderful programs out there. Um, and I, I have personally done a ton of them. I, I really like what they do. Uh, anyways, I learned this from doing their programs and it has changed my mobility. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure I, one, give them credit and two, pass it on to you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Great resources. Thanks, Aaron. Um, we are so happy to do this quick little workout with you guys. Hopefully you get a chance to move around a little bit more today. And again, just remember to hit that little round family picture of us to subscribe so that you never miss another workout ever again. <laughs> See you later, guys. Make it a great day.